everyone, this is a video tutorial on the Wacker process as requested by one of my subscribers. So in this video, I just want to give you guys a basic overview of what happens in it and an ability to product predict. So first let's take a look at what's involved in the Wacker process. So over here we have a terminal alkene. Remember a terminal alkene occurs at the end of a chain. Internal alkenes do not work very well with this, so you will not very often see uh, internal alkenes used in these processes. You also have PDCl2, which is our catalyst for the reaction, water, which will behave as a nucleophile, and then our final product will be a methyl ketone. So now the mechanism for the Wacker process is not totally understood and it's pretty complicated, so I just want to distill it down to the essence of what you're doing for product prediction. So if you take your terminal alkene, what you're ultimately going to do is remove that double bond and create a carbonyl. So over here I've removed the double bond and I've created the carbonyl that I have. Remember, the carbonyl is not going to happen on the terminal carbon, it happens on the carbon right before. So on that carbon we add our carbonyl and on the other carbon we just replace that missing uh, double bond with an H so everything has a full octet. And that's all you really have to know in order to product predict for the Wacker process.